Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. As you know, CBSE has issued guidelines to promote art integrated education and to make students aware about the vast and diverse cultural heritage of our country, India. So today, in this video, we will learn about state Karnataka and you will find lot of ideas on how to create art integrated project on Karnataka. Aim of this art integrated project is to understand the people, culture, history, population, geography, climate, dances, dresses, food, religious places, heritage sites and other famous places to visit in Karnataka. Karnataka is a state in the southwestern region of India. It is the largest state in South India and seventh largest in India. Its capital and largest city is Bangalore. Let's learn about history of Karnataka. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Now let's learn about Geography of Karnataka. Now let's see climate of Karnataka.
Next is Population of Karnataka. Now let's see languages of Karnataka. Next is People and Culture of Karnataka Now let's learn about famous places to visit in Karnataka. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. The first famous place of Karnataka is Bangalore. Nicknamed as the Garden City of India, Bangalore the capital city of Karnataka is the third most popular city and fifth largest city in India. Second famous place of Karnataka is Kolgu, which is a popular hill station and is also known as Scotland of India. Kulg is the largest producer of coffee in India and the famous Kaveri River is originated in the hills of Kulg at Tala Kaveri. Let's see the next famous place which is Mesur. Mesur, the erstwhile capital of the Mesur Maharajas is one of the popular destinations in Karnataka. It is known for its grand Dashera celebrations. Called as the city of palaces, Mesun still retains its old world charm with its palaces, heritage buildings and temples. Next is Chikmagalur. Chikmagalur is a scenic hill town situated at the foothills of Mulyangeri Range. It is famous for coffee and is known as the Coffee Land of Karnataka. Next place is Shivana Samudra Falls. Shivana Samudra Falls is located on River Kaveri and it is a popular tourist place in Karnataka. Let's 
see the next famous place which is Belur. Belur is one of the best heritage sites in Karnataka. It was the capital of powerful Hoysala Empire on the banks of river Yagachi. Next is Jog Falls. Formed over Shalvati River, Jog Falls is one of the highest plunge waterfalls in India. Now let's learn about famous religious places to visit in Karnataka. First religious place of Karnataka is Murudeshwar. Murudeshwar is the abode of Lord Shiva. The temple town is famous for the world's second tallest Shiva statue and tallest temple tower. Next is Udupi. Udupi is one of the most famous pilgrimage sites in Karnataka and is well known for its beautiful beaches. Udupi is famous for Sri Krishna temple which attracts pilgrims from all over India. Next is Sri Mahabaleshwar temple. It is one of the important Hindu pilgrimage centers in South India. This temple is regarded second to the Kashi Vishwanath temple in Varanasi and is called the Dakshin Kashi. Next religious place of Karnataka is Tala Kaveri. Tala Kaveri is the origin of the Kaveri river in Karnataka. Here, a square tank called Kaveri Kund is considered to be the birthplace of River Kaveri. Let's see the next religious place which is Chandramuleshwar Temple. This temple is dedicated to Hindu god Shiva and it was built in 12th century by the first class. Now let's learn about heritage sites to visit in Karnataka. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. First heritage site to visit in Karnataka is Mesun Palace. The royal official residence and seat of the warriors this palace is one of the most famous heritage places to visit in Karnataka. Let's see the next place which is Hempi. Hempi is a renowned UNESCO World Heritage Site situated on the banks of Tungbhadra River. Hempi is a significant place in terms of history and architecture of the Vijayanagar Empire. Let's see the next heritage site of Karnataka which is Bidal Fort. Built in the 15th century by Adil Shah, Bidal Fort is located on the edge of Bidal Plateau. Bidal Fort has served many ruling families of South India. Next place is Jaina Keshav Swami Temple. This temple is dedicated to Lord Vishnu and it was built in 12th century during the Hoysala Empire rule. Let's see the next heritage site which is Statue of Gomteshwar. 
This 57 feet statue of Gomteshwar is also known as Bahubali. It is a massive statue and is one of the largest free standing statues in the world. It is an important Jain pilgrimage site in India. Next place is Hoysaleshwar Temple. The 12th century capital of the Hoysala Empire, Hale Bidu, is one of the finest examples of Hoysala architecture. Hoysaleshwar Temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva and is known for carvings and sculptures. Next heritage site to visit in Karnataka is Badami Cave Temples. Badami Cave Temples contains four cave temples which were built between 6th and 7th centuries. Last heritage site of Karnataka is Sri Naga Patna. It is one of the top ancient sites in Karnataka. This town Post the architectural style of Vijayanagar and Kwesalar dynasties. Sri Rangapatna receives its name from the famous Ranganatha Swami temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu. Now let's learn about famous traditional dances of Karnataka. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share, and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Now let's learn about traditional festivals of Karnataka. First traditional festival of Karnataka is Ganesh Chaturthi. Then MP festival. Next one is Gauri Festival. Next there is Pata Dakal Dance Festival.
नेक्स्ट इज मैसू दशहरा फेस्टिवल Then we have Ugri or Guri Parva festival. And the last traditional festival of Karnataka is Kambala festival. Now let's learn about traditional food items of Karnataka. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share, and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Learning Notebook. First one is Mesu Masala Dosa. नेक्स्ट फूड आइटम इज चाव चाव भात नेक्स्ट इज उडपी टमाटो रसम After that it is need dosa Next one is kori gasi After that it is sweet prantha Next one is mesu pak and the last food item of karnataka is dahi bada now let's see traditional dresses of karnataka The traditional clothing for women in Karnataka is sari. And traditional clothing for men in Karnataka is lungi. So this was all about Karnataka. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.